the uh, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is going through a major period of transformation in a positive way um, through the implementation of our Vision 2030, which seeks to uh, diversify our economy away from oil, which seeks to uh, make our government more efficient, more transparent, more accountable, which seeks to uh, open up new areas for investments, uh, both external as well as domestic, whether we're talking about recreation, entertainment, whether we're talking about mining, whether we're talking about tourism. Um, it's also, we're trying to empower our youth, empower women. We're trying to um, build institutions in our economy that will allow our young people to uh, realize their hopes, their dreams, and their ambitions. And we believe that uh, if we succeed, and we will succeed, God willing, that uh, this will lift our country to a higher level, make us more strong, make us more wealthy, which in turn will insulate us from the problems that we face in our region. Um, the uh, region, as you all know, is uh, facing numerous challenges. We can start with Lebanon, Syria, we can look at Yemen, we can go into Libya, we can look at Iran's aggressive policies. Um, we have issues with extremism and terrorism, we have pirates, we have financial issues, uh, we have demographic issues, and I, as I always like to say, and other than that, it's a wonderful region. Um, but we, we, we um, are dealing with these challenges. Um, we're dealing with, um, we're, with the challenges along with our allies in the GCC, as well as our allies <coughs> in, in the West. We are working to try to stabilize Syria. We're, we have worked to uh, unify the position of the Syrian opposition groups, the different ones, so that they can be more effective in the negotiations. We're working with Russia to try to uh, 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 move the peace process in Geneva forward so that we can have a resolution to this long-running tragedy.